Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here we have the New Year sale now live on the Unity Asset Store. With the New Year upon us, it's time to do something fresh, so if you've got an idea that you've been thinking about, then maybe now you can get some assets to help you get it done. This sale also has a nice extra bonus discount. If your order is above $120, then you can add the coupon GOODBYE2020 to get an extra 5% off. So that, combined with the already deep discounts, makes this a great sale. Okay, so let's check out some of the assets on sale. Let's begin with a really awesome recently added tool, Rayfire. This lets you break up your objects in a satisfying and physically accurate manner, turn everything into pieces, and easily slice objects bit by bit. It's a really impressive destruction system. Works on any 3D object, and it even automatically creates debris and dust particles, making for some really satisfying destruction. Then for some assets, here's a massive bundle with a very deep discount. Contains over 3000 assets, so I'm sure you'll find something perfect just for you. I picked this one up myself in the last sale and it has been quite useful. You've got props, buildings, animals, vehicles, weapons, icons, enemies, and just about anything. If you need a bunch of assets to use whenever you make a new prototype, then this massive bundle will help you a lot. Then if you have an idea for a building or tycoon game, check out this system. Easily build some complex indoor buildings. Place tons of objects in edit mode and then finalize the building. Automatically generates windows, supports moving, expanding, different visuals and tons more. Extremely useful to get a prototype up and running very quickly. Next up, we have some simple good looking stylized water. Easily makes some gorgeous looking lakes and oceans. Tons of parameters for you to change to modify water depth, shallow, horizon, foam and so on. Then here's a really awesome, really interesting tool. This one lets you move objects in the scene while using physics. It's an extremely useful tool for level building, so it's much easier to just place props by dropping them rather than having to painstakingly check to make sure that each object is not clipping with something else. You just grab something and drop it. It's got tons of features like adding gravity for more natural scenes. You can group objects together, again, everything with correct physics. You don't even need to add any colliders or rigid bodies, it's all handled automatically. Level design and set dressing is usually a task that I don't really like, and this one really helps with that, so I might look into grabbing this one myself. Next up, here's a great tool for physically accurate characters. Animate your characters and have them react to their environment in a physically accurate manner. All collisions look really natural. Easily make some ragdolls with a push of a button, so it's a great tool for physically accurate games or games with silly physics. If you need some animations, here's a massive pack. Features over a thousand animations, covering just about anything you need. Walk and run animations, you've got one-handed and two-handed weapons, along with shields, staffs, and so on. Magic casting animations, swimming, climbing, and lots more. Really easy to set them up and use them with your own custom characters. Then here's a nice and simple one, just a great outline. It can be of any color, you can add some glow, and it can be a different outline when behind objects. So nice and simple. Next up we have shapes. It's an extremely powerful tool for creating any kind of shape. So it's a real-time vector graphics library, which means you have super crisp shapes with infinite resolution, all with some great looking anti-aliasing. There's tons of examples showing how versatile this asset is. You can use it to make any 2D shape, but also works in 3D with spheres, quads, and 3D lights. For some more assets, here's a massive military pack. If you have a game idea with a military setting, then this pack is all you need. The total number of assets included in this pack is insane, there's over 1500 detailed prefabs. You've got fully great characters, lots of buildings and vehicles, and even some awesome looking fighter jets. All of the pieces are very modular, so it's really simple to snap them together and make some really expensive looking levels. If you're more into a medieval setting, then this one is great. Tons of assets to build your own dungeons. Make some castles, caves, camps, bridges and more. Lots of weapons and tons of props. And then you can populate that world with these awesome modular characters. Customize anything with over 700 unique modular pieces, so the amount of variation you can create is nearly infinite, so if you have a fantasy game then this is likely all you need for all of your characters. Then here's an excellent one that was actually the very first asset that I purchased 8 years ago. For my very first game, Survivor Squad, I needed some super fast pathfinding and this is what I found. It's fully multi-threaded, so it has almost no impact on performance, works on all types of grids, both in 2D and 3D, supports elevation and tons more. So this is the asset that allowed me to make my very first Steam game and maybe it will help you too. Then make some fascinatingly weird worlds with this tool. Contains a bunch of shader effects to make your game look really unique. You can flip the world around you like in Inception or make a really nice curved world like Animal Crossing. So it's a really gorgeous, really good looking effect. If you need some racing cars and some modular track pieces then check out this pack. 
It might seem familiar since I used this to make the racing RTS and also the checkpoint system and also the upcoming machine learning car driver. If you need some cars then this is a great pack. It includes 32 vehicles with racing cars, rally cars and monster trucks. Also includes a track building kit so you can use it to build custom tracks. Everything is optimized to work in URP and it's super performant so it's perfect for desktop and mobile games. Then here's another massive pack. I also used pieces from this one when making my racing RTS. It's got tons and tons of objects, props, characters and lots of stuff. Then here's another interesting tool that lets you paint on top of your meshes. It's really great for adding some user customization onto your games. Features automatic saving and loading so you can continue from where you left off. Modify your brushes and mask your paint area. Works both in the editor and in-game and supports all of the render pipelines. Then make your game run a lot faster with imposters. Just one click and you turn any 3D mesh with thousands of polygons into a simple flat sprite while visually looking exactly the same. Recently a lot of people have been playing Cyberpunk 2077 and there have been some viral videos where people have noticed that the cars in the distance are rendered as flat sprites. This is exactly that technique. It allows you to populate your worlds with massive amounts of detail while remaining at a high frame rate. The Amplify Shader Editor is also a great tool and a good alternative to Shader Graph that works on the built-in renderer. And if you're interested in both as well as this color grading package, then check out the discount bundle. Alright, so those are just some of the highlights and there's tons more. Pretty much everything is on sale, so if you want to see some more highlights, go check out my other asset store videos. All of those should be discounted as well. Remember, you have the extra bonus discount when using the coupon. So if there's something you've been thinking about, then now is the right time to grab it. The link in the description is also an affiliate link, so if you pick up anything through there, you'll also be helping out the channel. Alright, so thanks for watching, I hope you found some interesting assets, and I'll see you next time.